friends. What? What do you mean make new friends of other races? Well, I I want to diversify my friends' portfolio. So before this, you never had other friends of other races? Not really. <laughs> Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my video and my channel. So this video, I am taking you to my favorite cafe. These cafes are hidden and not very popular cafes, but these are the cafes that I really, really recommend. I have my friend here, Shah. Hi audiences. Shah is my new friend. It's my new year resolution to make more friends from other races. So Shah- Oh my god. <laughs> so can I be your first Malay friend? Uh, yeah, you're, you're my first Malay friend. <laughs> Bring him here today at Agong's house. You know, it's it's not the Agong royalty Agong, but it's Agong. <laughs> yeah, Agong is actually Chinese for grandfather. So we've been calling our king grandfather the whole time. It's Agong. This is it, Agong. It probably came from the same word. So Agong's house means grandfather's house because the, the owner actually converted this space inherited from her grandfather and she converted this place into a coffee shop and as a tribute to her grandfather, she named this place Agong. Agong's house. Believe me, the food here is incredible. We have the noodles. Yes. We're gonna have the noodles, and this is an avocado cheesecake. I have the Colombian coffee, and this is iced cocoa, right? Uh, cocoa mocha. Yeah, it's coffee and chocolate. For you, what is considered a very good cafe? Oh, something exclusive like this, la, mm. you know, like very closed off from outside and homey. Homey, yes. Yeah. You know, it's, it feels like you just you just wake up in the morning just to eat at home. Um, just like, <laughs> this is this is actually this is actually a home and there's a garden outside where you can mm. sit and it's very homely decorated. Like, yeah, it's not even in a shopping loft, you know, like Commercial loft is it's a neighbor it's an actual neighborhood. There's a playground outside, yeah. a, a mosque outside. Yeah. So it really feels like you're. It, it really is an, a home. Yeah. The taste I of the noodle. Scared. I only like order food once and the coffee once, and I was like hooked. Mm. This place. Okay, okay. How do you like it? Um, quite healthy. Like normal Chinese shop, you know, when you take the first bite of that noodle, it's a bit salty, yeah. like a bit of umami. Oh, yeah. This 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 really like. A neutral taste. Neutral taste. Neutral taste. Okay. But it has that flavor in okay. it. La. And then I'm gonna try my coffee. This is the Colombian coffee. Mmm. It's good. It's strong. But you can always customize it, and all you have to do is uh, tell the barista. So, are you satisfied that I brought you here? Mmm. Totally, totally. Yeah, so follow me, and I'll bring you to two other spots of Hidden Cafe. Bye. Say bye. Bye. My second stop and I don't think Papa San needs any more introduction I have seen so many pictures on Facebook from my friends they opened in 2017 and was a huge hit and it's usually very very packed the chef had very long experiences in working in Japan in a Japanese restaurant and that's why I think they fuse the Japanese style food concept with our local cafes I think we should have more of these fusion cafes here in KL. I have ordered their famous curry rice and I think this is like a must order. Oh, smells incredible. Duck shell crab, the unagi rice as well. Their matcha durian which you pour the matcha over and then you eat it with the mochi here. And I have the latte here. Soft shell crab, look at the soft shell crab. And oh look at that. They put grapes. 
in the salad. I have never seen anybody putting grapes in a salad. Look at that. Grapes. And the soft shell crab. I'm gonna taste. Mmm. 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 Cucumber. Mm. This is very good. Very, very good. Unagi rice with uh, lots of lots of mushroom. Oh. It feels very nicely here. Oh. Cool. So that should be the perfect bite for their unagi rice. Mm. The sauce is really special. I'm gonna take a bite from here. God, it's still very it's fried, crispy. This is the Japanese curry. Mm. Mm. This is really good. So I've been told of how you drink this durian matcha tea is you pour it in. Oh, look at that. And then you stir it a little bit. Mm. This is good. I highly recommend this place. It's always packed, so I always have to come on odd hours. Congrats to the chef who made all these delicious fusion food and uh, do come here, very highly recommend. So boys and girls, I am at my third and my last stop. And this place is really a dream come true for me. I mean, I love, love books. I cannot live without books and I cannot live without coffee. And this place has both. I don't think I can find any other place that is like this. So we are at Little Giraffe Story House. This place used to be a library. For many, many years, it was a library where you can come and you can borrow books. And they even have a children's session where before the pandemic, they used to have book readings and have book clubs where people gathered to discuss about particular books. Kids would play and, you know, interact with books. And now because of the pandemic, that's not happening. But I hope that as soon as the pandemic is under control, these book clubs and these interactive book reading sessions will come back. About a year ago, they put a cafe counter over at the entrance of this library, which I thought is a great idea. So they not only have cafe, they serve breakfast. I've ordered the Yue breakfast where they have sausages and egg salad and mushroom. They also have cakes and I've ordered my latte caramel for the day. I mean, I love the glass panel design, it's letting all the lights in. They have an open kitchen over there. The kitchen itself is already very Instagrammable because they have this old open kitchen setup, which I thought was amazing. The whole decoration, I think they, they reuse a lot of different items. So reusable items to do their decoration. Or the wood tier flooring is really giving a nuance to the nostalgic atmosphere here. I couldn't ask for a better cafe and I think this one is so far my favorite. I think I can spend the whole day here. It really is a hidden gem in Kuala Lumpur. It's situated in Batu 11 in Chara, so it's a little bit of outside of Kuala Lumpur. But 
well worth the visit. So I'm gonna have my breakfast now. I want to thank you for watching this video. So I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay safe. Bye.